There are three big myths hurtling around Washington these days. No jobs equal an economic recovery. Government-run health care will make it more affordable. And deficits don't matter. The American public, to their credit, isn't buying any of these. Start with the economy. We're all pleased to see the stock market go up. But middle-class America knows hundreds of thousands of jobs are disappearing each month. Many of them may never reappear. As families in my communities and across the country watch the national unemployment rate close to topping double digits with very few real signs of relief ahead, they have one question for the White House. Mr. President, where are the jobs? Last January, the White House promised us all that if Congress passed the massive trillion dollar stimulus bill, jobs would be created immediately and the unemployment rate would stay under 8%. Well, since then, nearly 3 million more Americans have lost their private sector jobs. Over 2 million have simply quit looking for work because they're so discouraged, and that's frightening. And over 9 million Americans are working part-time because they can't find a full-time job. And those who do worry if they'll be the next person standing in the unemployment line. The truth is, no jobs, no recovery. Let's finally admit America's recovery can't be built on the unsteady democratic doctrine of spending more, borrowing more, and higher taxes. It's failing our families.